data which we showed in our previous video uh, we have uh, displayed uh, a table in which we are showing some data from sql server then we sorted it then we make a video on search filter then we come to the pagination and the last video was about to add a new record with the image <coughs> okay in this video we will do what we will uh, edit the existing record and uh, with the image okay now let's just start it this was my last state which i explained in my last video if i go to this create new i will be able to add a new record as per last tutorial <coughs> okay in this video we will do what will if i click on this detail it takes me to the page which is not present yet so we will add this detail page first and then we will come to the edit page okay as you can see if i click on edit page 2 i won't be able to see edit page because i haven't added a action for this okay now let's just come back to the controller <coughs> this is my home controller and uh, i will have to add a new detail action method okay so i'm going to my blog and copy it <laughs> i will give the link of this video this uh, sorry this uh, blog all you need is to just copy this action method <coughs> and i'm going to paste for the detail page here it is done details okay it's showing error on first default is right first or default okay the problem is with the uh, updated version of entity when i wrote this blog i was using another pc which is containing uh, updated version of ef core and in visual studio i have 2.1 so there is a conflict between these things so i'm going to remove this async method task also this okay now remove this await as you can see there is no error right now so all you need is to right click on this and add a view and detail and select the model the model class is tbl user <coughs> okay now run the project our detail page is completed our next step is to add the edit method as you can see there is not very much complicated code in detail we all have discussed this link query this business logic in uh, .NET framework ASP.NET for the new user i'm explaining this actually i am taking a parameter which is an id this id containing the primary key of the user table if the id is null it will return not found error that the user is not found if id is not null it's containing some value then it will do what it will sort uh, it will find the record by using this where clause and will assign to this object and if the object is null it will write not found because user can send any value in the query parameter like uh, if you write 146 which is not containing in the database so this condition will execute okay and in, in case of if this is containing uh, some value and not null then it will run the it will return the object which will be displayed on the view okay if i come back to this and i click on detail page now you can see it takes me to the detail page okay with all the 
well if i write this 66 which is not hitting in the database so it will show me what it will come to the an error okay i will be add an error page later it's uh, throwing the error not found okay you can align this you can see this as this page right now i'm not doing this i will just uh, add a image over here okay go to this and uh, where is display for image here is display for image <coughs> okay you can go back to the table and where is index method where you have applied image and you can copy from there okay here it is let's copy this run the project again it will show the image okay as you can see it is creating an error so i have another solution i will do what i will this i will declare a variable var image path is equals to at the rate sorry i do not have to write at the rate model dot file picture I can use this model over here also. Okay, perfect. The error is gone. So I do not have to write uh, the variable. I guess. Perfect. <coughs> Remove this. Now run the project. Okay. As you can see, the image is being displayed back to the list and if I click on this record showing this okay now it's time to work on edit module <coughs> I already have described the code of edit so I do not have to write the, all the code all you need is to just copy this edit code don't worry I'm going to explain this stop and uh, back to the controller and paste both the method get and post together okay as you can see the same error so just move this await button and first and default method same thing first okay what is right now here is a get method for edit okay if uh, it uh, it is containing the same logic which is uh, I wrote which was written in detail page as you can see in the detail page I have write the same logic so I just copied all the logic okay in the get method of edit and the changes in the post method <coughs> the post method is containing few parameters the first parameter is for id the second one is for the changed values uh, from that is coming from the user you are willing to change and this object will contain all the changes that you made on view and this is for the image iphone file is used for the image or some other file okay if the id is null it will throw an error not found if id is not null then it will or it will find the record by using this pair clause and assign to this object and if in case the object is null it will show not found error and if object is not null then it will come to this 
and check whether the file is null or not uh, if you are willing to change the file then this code will be executed if otherwise this code won't be executed it means that you are not willing to change your image existing image okay it is not necessary while updating the record you uh, need to change the image you are uh, willing to change us username or any other field so this code won't execute if you do not change the image if file is null if file is not null or file length is not zero then we'll do what we'll create a unique name for the image when we are combining the path that we have assigned in the ww root images and okay i need to change because my name is images okay uh, on the blog i use a different name <coughs> and here is the code for copying the file on the server and uh, i'm assigning <coughs> i'm assigning the created name to the object user profile and here is the code for model binding and i'm just writing db dot save changes and returning back to the index method okay now let's just run the code okay sorry i didn't add the edit code edit view so i need to add a view for edit okay i need to stop this right click on this add view and there is an edit code will user add the alternate option is you can copy from my blog i have provided so i'm copying from here and pasted this code the, this is because of image okay. now run this <coughs> okay ji video ko like zarur kar dena yaar itne kharab gale mein bhi video banayi hai badi mushkil se to please video ko like karna share zarur kar dena Okay, now I'm going to click on this edit method. Okay, as you can see, it took me to this page. Okay, the image is not displaying just because of wrong path provided. As you can see, I wrote image and my folder name is images. That is why it is not showing. Images. Now click on this edit. I'm willing to change the password ABCD124 and another I'm changing the email. And I'm going to change this also. as you can see the record is updated the email is updated the image is updated and i feel okay actually i forgot to write the code for the updated date so uh, i do not have to provide the parameter on the view for update date updation okay i need to remove this from here <coughs> remove this code modified date and edit date also okay and come back to the controller i will change the logic for this for a uh, updated code it is in date time dot okay. this method is for edit okay 
actually there's a mistake modified dates now that's correct run the project I need to correct on the block too okay okay I'm clicking on this record as you can see there is no such field I'm changing my As you can see here is the record and it's showing updated record also updated date okay that's all for this video thank you for watching and please do like this video share and subscribe to my channel okay thanks video